All right, YouTube, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to adjust these little doodads right here, the Zoom H1 or any audio recorder that has some of the similar capabilities, and then the KX2 and how that is going to pipe the audio from the KX2 into the Zoom H1 to where it, the Zoom H1 will be able to record my audio and the audio from the KX2 while wearing a headset. Uh, the reason why I want to do this is because one thing I notice is when I'm trying to get better quality audio using just the Zoom H1, I put a dead cat on this and I still get wind noise and it's super loud. I'm turning it up, turning it down. It's just, it's not as clean. If you look at my last video, which I'll link it uh, over here somewhere, one of these things, uh, you'll notice that the audio is definitely getting better and better because I kind of finally figured out how to make these settings work. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. All right, so in order to get this audio to go into the Zoom H1, you'll see you've got a line out and a line in. Both of these are a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is your typical like iPhone headset, which is also the same thing on my Pro, uh, Micro, uh, Pro Micro from Heil, this headset right here. And then on the KX2, uh, you see the phone's mic. Uh, both are also a 3.5 millimeter input and output. So all these uh, tools right here are a 3.5 millimeter socket, so it makes everything real easy. So now the setup is gonna be pretty simple. I'm going to plug the microphone, I'm sorry, the phones, phone jack. So I plug that right into there. And then I put, so I'm going out from the radio. I'm going into the Zoom H1. So I'm gonna go into the line in right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two pins from the, the Heil Pro Micro 2. And how I can tell the difference between these two, really easy, other than color coding, is stereo has two. So left ear, right ear, and the microphone has one. That's how I remember these things when I'm out in the field. Um, and they're all black. So black and black is, is for the headphones. And I'm gonna plug that right into the line out of the Zoom H1, and I put the mic, of course, into here. So now, I've got this thing all set up. This, this uh, extension is pretty long here. I kind of run it out of the way. But this is what it kind of basically looks like. I've got the microphone plugged in. I've got the headphone coming out and going into the Zoom H1, filter through here, and then out and back into the headset. So this is where it got tricky is right here, is how do I level everything else into this setting here? And it came down to settings within the Zoom H1 and settings within the KX2. All right, so now here's how I set it up. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna put the volume on the Zoom H1 or a recordable, uh, comparable device at 100%. And if I punch this up, you can see the volume is at 100%. Then I take the KX2 and I turn the KX2, AF60, that's my volume. AF, I just whatever. But 60 is max. So 30 is 50% of volume, obviously. So I go max. So max on the KX2, max on here. And then I look at my, my meter here. And that's assuming you have a meter on your recording device. You can see with this thing full blast, I'm pegging out just above the 12. But I can control that by turning the volume down on the KX2. Now, so what you do though, is you start out with it at 100% and 100%, and then you just, on mine, I have a line in volume adjustment here, input level. So I can adjust this input level right here on the, uh, on the Zoom H1 until I got there. So if I go down, you can see, obviously it goes down, but I found that being at level 20 on the Zoom H1 for me puts everything where I need it to be for this being maxed out because I'm not gonna run this thing max. This is not gonna be maxed out all the time, um, but this will stay where it's set. Once this is set, it's done. Now I just control the volume and I can bring it down and I can get it where I want it. Now that's with the preamp on. The preamp's on, by the way, there's no power out. There's no antenna connected. If I hit my power, you can see zero watts. 
Um, so, but with it on preamp, it's even louder. So if I turn the preamp off, and I turn that at 60%, look at where it's at. It's right at that 12. And that peaking at 12 is where you want it. That 12 dB is where you want everything to be, is right there on all your audio stuff. Um, it's kind of like the, it should be threshold peaking out at 12. So I know if I've got a weak signal and I turn this volume all the way up, I'm not gonna be over modulating or overdriving the Zoom H1. And if I hit the preamp, watch what happens. It gets louder. And then I could just simply turn it down. And then I bring it back down where I need to be. So I'm trying to watch this meter while I'm uh, recording my video so that it makes sense. The other side of this is ensuring that when I speak into it, it's not too loud. So I hit the monitor thing, uh, and I just tap this. Monitor's at 20 right now, and I'm gonna hit transmit. Remember, we got no power going out. KG6HQD. KG6HQD, oh, well, let me... There, now we go, so KG6HQD. So you can see it's peeking out, it's blowing out right now, and you can even see where the red light is flashing, saying, recording peak, recording peak, it's warning me, because the monitor's at 20. I had it set up at 20 when I was doing other things. I know. If I bring that monitor all the way down to about one or two, so there it's at one. So at one, look at where it's at when I'm speaking. I'm not quite up to the 12, I'm peaking out at 12. Now remember, when it's windy out and you start talking louder, I'm gonna put up to a two, uh, right there's a two. So there's a two right there. So as I start talking louder when it's windy out or if I'm just getting excited or whatever, working a pileup, I know that with the monitor being set at two on the KX2, that monitor is basically me when I'm speaking through the mic, KG6HQD. I've got the mic locked down right now. That's why the TX button is on. And with the TX button on, I'm speaking in directly into the mic with it up against my lips, and I'm hitting 12. So after playing with it for a while, the goal is to constantly have this thing showing up on or, on or around the 12 decibels on the recording device. And uh, that's how I got this thing set up. All right, guys, that's just a quick video on how you set that whole thing up. So the key is, is the Zoom H1, have the volume all the way at 100%. Then turn your radio on, have the volume on the radio at 100%. Remember, it goes from the microphone out into your recording device, your audio recording device, and then that will go into your headset. So you plug your headset in, so you're filtering it through that. And that way I'm able to knock down all external wind noise or other things, and then to adjust for the, the volume, I just use the volume on the KX2. And then for the monitor, when I speak, that's the monitor one, then I adjust that to be on my setup, where I talk kind of loud, and I just make sure that it never peaks above that 12 decibels, but I put it at about one or two, depending upon where I'm at, and boom, good to go. Uh, before you go on the field, I would tell you to do a couple tests on the bench like I did uh, when I was setting this thing up on Twitter, and, uh, and I hope that helps you out. Uh, put some comments down below, you got some questions. Uh, if you got different kind of recording devices uh, and you have some other questions, uh, hopefully I can help you out. They all should kind of be close to the same as long as they have the same features. Oh, by the way, on this Zoom H1, there is an auto level. I tried the auto level in that first video uh, and it didn't work. That's when I had the distorted audio. So I turned the auto level input off and I went manually and I set mine manually to be at 20%. And that's where I had uh, the great success of where I'm at now. So I still have to be conscious though when I'm turning the volume up and down. Uh, that I try to keep a, I try for you guys to make my uh, audio as good as I can, and I want that to be consistent across the board. So you don't have really low ones or really high ones. So you notice when I'm running with the preamp off, the volume is, is steady, but then as soon as I hit it, all of a sudden it jumps up and gets real loud. You'll even hear the static really loud, uh, and then I'll end up turning it down and kind of leveling out. So there is some of that variance. There's not much I can do about that. That's just, you know, that's how, that's what happens when it's live, and you're kind of getting that feed. So. Again, if you got something out of this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, do me a favor, subscribe, and uh, check out my other videos on the channel. Any questions about soda, video ideas, comments below. I love them. Interact with everybody. And uh, I'm also on Twitter, big on Twitter, active on Twitter. It's all my call sign, KG6HQD. Thanks for watching.